Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be going over the completeness of the real numbers. So, here's a couple terms you'll need to know about the supremum and the infimum. So, instead of just defining them with words, I'm going to show you. So, let's say we have a set A defined by 1 minus 1 over N, where N has to be in the set of natural numbers. The supremum is the maximum value that the set could take on. So, if we had, for example, uh, as n approaches infinity, for example, we'd have 1 minus 0, which is 1. So that's why the supremum is 1, is because that is the maximum value that the set could theoretically contain. And it could actually, sets can contain their supremum, it's just not in this case. And the infimum is just the lowest possible value. In this instance, we do actually have an infimum because, because the lowest value that n could be is 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So the infimum is 0 in this instance. Let's look at this set. So this set is for x in the set of rational numbers such that x squared is less than 2. 